Millions of people love the magic of the movies, especially around the holidays when we see a lot of new releases. Our Quad Cities Linda Cook certainly loves the magic of the movies, and she's here to talk about two new releases from directors who've had a lot of success. Always great to see you to talk about. Good to see you too. Now, are you a Willy Wonka fan? Have you seen the, the older one? The one that I am the original Gene, Gene Wilder, Wilder kind of guy. Okay. So it's hard for me to accept anything else. The Johnny Depp version didn't sit well so uh, with me. Yeah, I understand that. I really do. Now, this one, you know, you know what? I'll start There's with a new a one. book. Timothy Chalamet, right? From, yes, exactly. It all started with Roald Dahl's 1960s children's book, right? People forget that. So now would be a good time to run to the library and get this for your child. It's a little bit different than the book, but it's a little more like the Gene Wilder one than you might imagine. It is a true musical, which has a story told between musical pieces. I would say just as much, if not more, than the first one. Mm -hmm. The idea here, though, is that this is sort of an origin story of Mr. Wonka who arrives in a bustling city and decides he's going to make his fortune by selling his incredible chocolate, some of which is magic. Problem is, he can't read. Mm -hmm. So, and there's a lesson here for all you kids out there. You need to be able to read. Otherwise, you too might sign a contract and end up more or less an indentured servant, as he does in a boarding house. So, I kind of, if I hear you right, it kind of sounds like it's a kind of even a, not quite a prequel, but kind of lays the groundwork before the Willy Wonka, exactly. the original Willy Wonka with Gene Wilder. Exactly. And the idea of how course, he gets into the business. It, right. How he or what he does before right. and all the trials and tribulations and. Um, Hugh Grant is here as an Oompa Loompa, uh, and we learned... I think I have seen that trailer, yes. Yes. He's very funny and very dry-witted, and, and uh, I, I laughed Hugh Grant out loud. Can be, yes. yes. Uh, is this a great movie? No. Is it solid and fun and perfect for families? Heck yeah. Do we get the same kind of tour like we did in the Gene Wilder one, too? Uh, no, 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 because, no golden ticket? Because it's not there yet. Yeah, it hasn't been built, it. but we, we're going to see how it comes it's to life. be. Gotcha. And I, I thought this was solid. It's... Every kid is going to want to go to this, and I think the parents too, because how many generations have enjoyed this story? The Linda Cook rating, where can people see it? Three out of four, and you can see it at the Last Picture House, and you can see it at Cinemark in Davenport. So three out of four is pretty good for you, for yeah, sure. I mean, we had double four stars last week, so I don't know. A little disappointing here. The Boy and the Heron, am I saying that right? Yes, The Boy and the Heron, which it's about a boy and a bird. This one is utterly gorgeous. And for anime fans, Studio Ghibli fans, if I pronounce that right, I think I'm close. This is a masterpiece. The idea of this is that this child is kind of abandoned or feels that way. And when he's approached by a mysterious bird that may or may not be his friend, he too goes into a fantasy land where parakeets are warriors and where his mother may or may not be found. I thought this was stunning. I thought it was the, the idea of this hand-drawn animation that took years to create. The storyline is amazing. I must warn audiences, this is not an American animation. This is right. not what you'll see with Disney or oh, DreamWorks. Oh, only for kids or? No, but kids, older kids, I think, would enjoy it. Uh, and people who love anime will enjoy it, too. I found this to be absolutely enthralling from beginning to end. Four out of four. Stars four out of four. Me. And that's also mm -hmm. with the last picture house in Cinemark. Do we have, I went really out of time, but I heard something about Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Is that it's right? on Blu-ray. And so when it starts to get cold, what better way to spend some time with your family? And you gave that a pretty good rating, too. I right? like that. Three out of four stars. All right, Linda Cook. Of course, you can remember, you can read all of Linda Cook's reviews in much greater detail online at ArquaCities.com.